All right, so it's calling me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick it up. Hi, is this Fit Bozar? Yes, it is. Great. This is Nova calling from Midwest Dental. I'm reaching out with a quick reminder about your upcoming consultation for the cell appointment agent to dentist office. Your consultation is scheduled for Sunday, September 7th, between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. Eastern time. Does that time still work for you? Yes, it does. I have a quick question. What are the hours for Wednesday? Absolutely. On Wednesdays, Midwest Dental is open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Is there anything else I can help with today? Yeah, how much does a cleaning cost? Sure thing. An adult cleaning at Midwest Dental typically ranges from $90 to $120 before insurance. Final fees can vary based on your specific needs, but you'll always get a written estimate before treatment. Anything else I can help with? Yeah, do you accept Aetna? Yes, Midwest Dental is in network with Aetna PPO plans and will file claims for you. If you'd like, they can check your benefits and provide an estimate before your visit. Is there anything else I can help with today? No, that's it. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thanks for your time. We'll talk soon. Bye. Virtual receptionist. Come on. And I'll show you how to set it up, but it it's basically a rag chatbot on the inside, so I can upload company documentation into the agent and it will recall the company information and be able to answer that to me live over the phone. So you can talk about hours, you can talk about pricing, you can talk about all types of different things. These kind of questions that service providers get just so many times, right? Like maybe a handful of questions are 90% of all the questions that you typically see from customers, you can put those into the knowledge base, which is a rag chatbot. I'll show you how to do that. And now you have an automated receptionist basically who can remind you of appointments, who's not just a bot stuck in a loop. It's a bot that can actually give you information and answer your questions. We've all been stuck on phone calls where the bot is just useless. And this time you can actually get answers. The first node we have here is the schedule trigger. And what this is doing is basically checking on a certain cadence. So I said, check it at 9 a.m. And that's when it'll begin. You can do it at eight, you can do it at different hours. It really depends on your use case. But for example, this is a use case for a dentist office. Maybe it opens at nine and we'll go ahead and start going through the calendar then. And the next node we have here is a Google calendar, which if you're pulling it in, it would be here and it would be get many. So get many events. You want to connect your Google account here, resource event operation, get many. Now from the list, this is your email. I just used an example email here. You want to make sure return all is checked. What this is doing here is it's getting triggered for the calendar events now and 48 hours into the future. You can adjust this to just simply get the events from that day, that day plus 24 hours, the week. It really depends on your use case, but I'm doing an example of a dentist office having to call in advance to people already on the calendar. So I'm doing today plus 48 hours. The next node we have is the AI agent and we have you want to go ahead and change this. Yours will be connected to chat trigger. You want to click define below. We have three items here, the appointment description, which if you look at the input, it would be down here. You'll just drag this over for the start time. We have the date time here for the end time. We have it, the date time here. You just drag this in. You want to make sure we require a specific output format because we want to have the data structured in a very particular way, which is the way here on the output. It's very clean. The system message. Again, you can have different prompts and different system messages. I have this in the school community. You can just copy and paste these over, but here is the one I'm going with. Right? So you're an assistant. I want it to generate the structure in a JSON object. Go ahead and pause this and pull it for yourself. Also, we have this available in the community. We add a chat model here. You can add any chat model you want. It would just be OpenAI for me is the simplest one. So 4.1 mini. 
the structured output parser, you will just come over here. When you're adding the node, it would just be structured output parser, and you have to change the JSON example in here. I have a custom JSON example. I have this in the school community again, but here it is for you. So I'll just open this up for you and you can go ahead and screenshot this, create the voice agent that you heard earlier. I'm using retail AI. So it's literally this website right here, R E T E L L A I.com. You can go ahead and sign up for free. You do get some free credits. It also has an opportunity for you to just pay to use. You can set up a phone number in there. You can set up different kinds of agents, different types of voices, and I'll show you how to do that now. Here we are on the console dashboard. If you come over to the left, you just click agent. You can go ahead and create an agent up here, top right. We'll do a voice agent. It will be a single prompt agent. We'll start from blank. And here we are. You can go ahead and select the language model you want to use. This is for the system prompt and the system prompt, everyone has their own style. It, you can take it in any direction you want. I have an example prompt in the school community, which I'll copy and paste over in here. But again, you can take the one I give you, or you can use it as a guide to remix your own prompt for your own use case. Here in the school community, we have a 60 day, two month daily guide of actionable steps you can take to help you monetize AI agents. And in here, I'm just going to click the templates, pull over the prompt for this agent. All right, here we are. And for this, I gave the agent some guidelines here. I gave it a name. I told it that it is a phone concierge for Midwest Dental. You have some of the information here about the flow. The name will flow through. So it will ask, is this the name of the person on the calendar? It gives some information around how to conduct the phone call to confirm the time. Again, this is an appointment reminder agent. And just speaking from a healthcare perspective or a medical perspective, the amount of times people miss appointments is way more than you think. And one of the biggest differences that moved the needle in my experience was sending people a text message before their appointment and also having a phone call to remind them people get caught up, they're busy, Th things are going on in their life, but they're missing very important medical appointments. And it's very difficult to reschedule these sometimes because the nature of the appointment and the doctor's schedule. So these things truly move the needle and make a difference for a lot of people. You see some of the information here. You can copy this one for yourself just by pausing it here. Have a bunch of different prompts in the community. The thing to note, you can set up functions here. For this agent, I have the ability for it to transfer a phone call. If I ask it a question as the recipient of the phone call, it is able to transfer when it's unable to answer the question. It'll transfer the call to an actual human and it has the ability to end the call. So if you're thinking about a service business, this can handle the 90% of the questions that businesses have. This can handle the, hey, you have an appointment as a reminder so that the actual people in your office are free to do other tasks that have high value to the business and to the clients of the business. Whereas some of this maintenance stuff you can automate. In here, we can also add a knowledge base. This is very important because in some of the other builds in the community, we do rag chatbots. You can put a bunch of company documents into a chatbot so you can have a conversation with it. This agent also allows you to put your company information into the knowledge. If you're thinking about your terms and conditions, your policies, your prices, your times, when it's open, when it's closed, who's in the office, whatever information you need to communicate to clients, you can put in the knowledge base here. So in the knowledge base, you can just come and simply add and I just put in text, you can upload a PDF, you can create a base here, and now your agent is intelligent. When it calls me and I ask it a question, it reverts to the knowledge base and is able to answer the questions. For the HTTP request coming in here, it's a post method. Here's the URL. You can get this from the API documentation on the retail AI website, but you can just go ahead, pause the video and take it from here. You wanna do generic credential type custom authorization, 
To set up a custom authorization, you will just click the edit button here. You can copy this from the community or just pause the video here and take it. You want to do the bearer and then your key. So you want to drop in your key here, key bearer in the file. So we'll go to retail AI. Here on the console dashboard, you'll come to settings and you'll go to API keys. Up here on the right, you'll click add a key. You'll take the key value and again, back in N8N, you will go ahead and delete this and then drop in your API key, click save, and you're ready to go. You wanna do send body, body content type JSON, using JSON, here is the JSON script. The thing that you will change, you can copy and paste this from the community, you can also pause the video here and do it. This phone number, you will set up a phone number in Retail AI, you'll paste yours in here, and your agent ID here. So this is my agent ID. How did we get this? You come back here, you go to your agent, click on your agent. You have the agent ID up here. We'll just copy that. You come back over and you just paste it in here. Again, the things that will change for you, your agent ID and the phone number that you set up with Retail AI to make the phone calls. So I'll execute the workflow and now it should call me. All right, so I'm getting the phone call, and we'll pick it up. Hi, is this Fit Bozar? Yes, it is. Thanks, Fit. This is Nova calling from Midwest Dental. I'm just reaching out with a quick reminder about your upcoming consultation for the cell appointment agent, the dentist office. Your consultation is scheduled for Sunday, September 7th, between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. Eastern time. Does that time still work for you? Yeah, it does. I just have a quick question. What time is the office open on Monday? Great. Thanks for confirming. On Mondays, Midwest Dental is open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Is there anything else I can help with today? No, that's it. Thank you so much for the information. Awesome. Thanks for your time, Fit. We'll talk soon. Have a great day. Bye. I'm saying bye and thank you to a chatbot. Just wasting energy. But look at that. That's very fluid, very conversational. It reminded me of an appointment that was scheduled and I was able to even ask it a question about the hours. And that's the build. We have a schedule trigger, it checks the calendar, it calls people on the calendar. In this use case, it's a dentist office. Hey, you have your appointment, but again, it's intelligent. What are your hours? What services do you provide? How much do the services cost? How many times have you gotten a phone call from a bot that is useless? Literally, you don't have any coding experience, any coding knowledge. You literally set this up in 15 minutes now you look at these companies who can't even do that. You're like, what are you people doing? Not focusing on the customer clearly. But anyways, you can use this for so many different other use cases. We have a bunch of different use cases in the community. I hope you found the build useful. I hope you incorporate it. I hope you reach out to businesses who could use it. If you're a service provider, I hope you implement it into your business. It really moves the needle. Found the build useful. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next